Yeah, so hello everyone and uh, welcome to our live demo on uh, automated quality management. My name is Baran and I'm the marketing manager here at Sestec. I have with me uh, Mr. Anil, he is our pre-sales director. Welcome Anil. Hi Baran, how are you doing? Fine, very fine. We're we very uh, excited to have you and our live demo today. So let me go through our agenda very quickly uh, because we have uh, uh, an audience from different backgrounds. Just to put things in context, we have a couple of slides for you guys. Uh, we're going to talk about how companies benefit from this uh, tool called automated quality management. Very quickly, we're going to touch pros and cons when we compare it to uh, traditional quality management tools. But we promise this is not going to take more than five minutes. And after that, we have a good 20 25 minutes where Anil will dive into detail. Forum. He's going to show us uh, how this tool monitors uh, when a customer calls a call center agent and start engaging. How does this tool monitors the script adherence and acoustic parameters in the call? He's going to talk about how this tool provides automated scoring cards for the agent performance. And of course, capabilities on self-coaching, which is very uh, popular uh, demanding topic today. And of course, reporting. But uh, I think we're going to have a good session. Uh, but if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to uh, chat us here at the uh, Livestorm platform. You can type any of your questions and I will direct it to Anil and make sure that everything is answered. Uh, so without further ado, Anil, if you want to share your screen and sure. start the presentation and the demo, I'm okay. giving the mic to you. Thank you so much, Baran, for the lovely introduction. Uh, hi, people. Thank you for joining. Thank you for your time. Uh, Baran, maybe we should just turn off the camera. I think the audience is here for just to see the, the, the product, not our pretty faces. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, sure. Let's do that okay. and start sharing. All right. So let me just go ahead and start the presentation. Okay, now. All right. I think you can see my screen. Yes. Okay, perfect. So hello everyone again. My name is Anil and I'm the pre-sales director here at Sestec. I've been with the company for the last six years and I have been heavily involved in the analytics platform and speech analytics is one of our flagship products. So uh, some of you are our current customers or partners or some of you are, you know, managing contact centers and that's why you are here to learn more about our automated QM. And uh, why we are here today is actually very interesting, quite interesting. We are here today because uh, in the current world, you know, uh, the customers are on forgiving more than any other time, okay? So according to a study, 74 so almost you know three-fourths of the customers who have had negative experience over the phone are likely to choose another business the next time so there's a very high likelihood that people are going to drop doing business with you and they are not going to actually uh, conduct your uh, their businesses with you and they're going to carry it to another place so it becomes very important and vital that you manage your contact center agents and uh, we know that it's not uh, easy especially if you have a few hundred people in your organization to listen to the calls and to do the uh, evaluations on them that's why we are here today just to set the story straight from the beginning you know and our agents those uh, you know poor souls in the contact center they have to be very quick in today's world to give faster responses to the customers and uh, they need to drive the revenues up there you know so that uh, they are, you're not losing money because of them and they need to be available 24/7 of course you know some organizations are preferring you know to have automated uh, you know uh, agents this is also a Sestex suite but today's you know uh, world uh, people want to contact with other people as well. So those agents uh, need to be highly accessible. And then while doing all of this, giving the quick responses, driving the sales up and uh, be there 24 seven, they need to still provide a lovely face, a lovely voice to their customers. So the customer experience is again, you know, tying this up with the previous slide, you have to do better 
just not to lose your existing customer base. And then there is a huge burden on the quality teams who uh, whose responsibility is to evaluate those agents' performances and uh, give coaching, you know, uh, to those agents whenever uh, there are some points that needs to be improved. Okay, so. Let's take a look at some traditional quality management features. All right. So if you have been doing some contact center business, you know that you need to listen and evaluate calls. And if you're receiving 100,000 calls a day or a week, you know that that's impossible to go through every single one of them. All right. So there's a very limited set of calls that are being uh, manually listened to. And then uh, you are losing a lot of data from the unlistened to and unevaluated uh, calls. And th that data is so important. You have been hearing the, the data you know, engineers, the big data uh, tools. You know, that data is collected for a reason. That data has some uh, you know, uh, target to, to provide you some root cause analysis and give you very valuable insight about your business, okay? So when you're not going through that data, you're losing most of this uh, information, okay? Listening to the calls in a, in a manual environment is gonna take longer than the automated one when the, when the uh, tool is doing it on behalf of you. And what we have observed from our customers is that some of the evaluators may not be as objective towards the agents as a machine, okay? So they're not rule-based, they have emotions. And I'm not saying necessarily this is something bad you know we are not doing a traditional versus automated here we do have an offer a traditional and or manual quality management inside our tool as well and we think that the combination of manual and automated is the best way to go but just to giving you the fact that uh, the manual is going to take a longer time and you're not going to be objective all the time. And you can do some errors as well, you know, as a human. On the other hand, machines are tend to do uh, much better on that. So let's take a look at the automated one. So all of your calls that you select, and you're going to see it in a minute inside the demo as well, they are going to be evaluated automatically. All right. So the tool is going to create those scorecards on behalf of you. And you can include either 100% of the calls or it's up to you. You can select and filter some calls and not the others. But as a result, your data is not going to be lost. And this is going to take probably fractions of a minute, depending on the uh, contact center's uh, size. And as I mentioned in the previous slide, it's going to be a totally objective performance evaluation because you're creating a rule-based engine and the machine is going to do, you know, 100% through evaluations uh, relying on those rules. So as a result, what do you gain uh, by employing an automated QM module, okay? It's gonna monitor and score and support your agents in an objective way. Uh, the features that you're gonna be seeing in today's live demo is the automated agent scoring. There is gonna be self-coaching options for agents. Uh, the re-evaluation after objection, because even it is uh, done by a machine, the agent can still actually object to an evaluation. And this is possible inside the SESTEC suite. And then the calibration, you know, on the on the quality evaluations. Now, while doing all of these features and this technology, what are we actually aiming for? The benefits are increased script and acoustic adherence. What do I mean by script and acoustic adherence is that uh, some of the scripts by, said by your agents in certain situations, this can be a greeting or a closing script, or it can be a, a security question that needs to be asked in certain uh, conditions, those scripts uh, will be adhered more because the tool is going to discover uh, all of the calls that the agents are not saying those, you know, scripts. Now, SESTEC has an advantage to extract a lot of acoustic information from a call. These acoustic information are agents' speech speed, 
okay? So it's the letters per second the agents are saying. Uh, the monotonicity of the agent, which is quite interesting because as the agent becomes more monotonicity, as I'm maybe right now, so you may doze off, you know, you may be sleeping on the phone on the other hand, especially if this is a sales call, you know, you don't want your agent uh, to lose their uh, liveliness interactions, okay, with you. GDPR compliance is very uh, much actually tied with the script adherence. And whenever an agent is asking a question, or uh, trying to learn an information, a sensitive information from the customer, you can actually discover uh, that kind of behavior from the agent. So uh, at the end, you are more compliant to the data protection laws, just such as GDPR. The objective evaluation, we already mentioned this, and the customer experience is just a total increased benefit as a result of all of the things that we discussed. Okay. Now, before I jump onto the live demo, let's take a look at one case study that Sestec uh, actually finished the project. Cigna, as you may know, is the largest insurance company in the world. Their subsidiary in Turkey is called Cigna Finance. Okay, they're an insurance company and they have been using our speech analytics tool and they all also purchased the automated quality management feature, okay? So what they're doing is they're uh, increasing their telemarketing agents' performances uh, in order to increase or achieve higher sales numbers, okay? So the 90% in the middle is quite extreme, okay? 90% improvement in agent performance is also driving sales to go up 48% for one specific product line, but overall call quality, and these numbers are derived with our customers, not SESTEC numbers, okay? The call quality increased 23%, okay? So the, the benefits are real, but how do we do this? I think most of you are here today not to look at the PowerPoint presentation, <laughs> but the real demo, yeah. right? Let's, but, um, let's, let's dive into that, yeah. How do we achieve okay. these numbers? All right. So I think it's time for me to jump into the speech analytics. You can still see my screen, but the application is up there, right? Yes. So just to can. be sure. Okay, perfect. So some of you know, this is our speech analytics interface. This is a dashboard. We are not going to be talking about the dashboard, but it's good to show you like, okay, you start with speech analytics dashboard. You see a snapshot of your contact center, the call numbers, you know, the topic distribution, why people are calling, the mostly used words there uh, and their distribution over, you know, different dates, inbound versus outbound calls. So this is just a dashboard, but let's dive into the quality part, okay? where we are going to set up an automated QM module. Now, I need to give you some, uh, some components of the quality world, okay? First one is form. Maybe in 80s or 90s, there were forms, but they were all on paper, okay? A form is a set of sections and questions that actually uh, includes all of the things that you want to evaluate uh, for an agent, okay? Your forms can have more than one versions and you can select which one will be published meaning that which one will be used by the automated evaluation form so let's take a quickly look at a form okay this is the one that we are going to be using okay there is a group of agents inside this demo environment called customer uh, i'm sorry consumer products experts okay so those agents are answering questions uh, when the customers are asking certain questions about some consumer products, okay? So this very simple form that I created probably in less than 10 minutes, 15 minutes, is the basis of my evaluation, okay? Some of the features, some of the attributes that we have, of course, the form has a name, a distinct name, so that I can actually differentiate it from others. There is a minimum zero maximum 100 points an agent can get okay uh, but it can be actually 60 points if your questions doesn't add up to 100 you know doesn't matter you can just click on the normalization checkbox and it's going to you know normalize the scores on a hundred basis i hope this is clear if you have any mm -hmm. questions just like baran said just send them over you know using the live storm uh, the score type is increasing meaning that the the agents are gonna 
gain points, not lose points whenever they uh, show uh, good behavior. The option appearance vertical means that when an evaluator sees the options, you will see in a minute, you know, they're not going to be horizontal. All will be in a vertical. And filter query is quite interesting. You may have hundreds and thousands of calls, but you may want to focus on a certain subset of those calls. So you can apply a filter in the beginning, you know, which will include uh, the calls that you're interested. So once you have these set up, now let's take a look at two sections here. I'm going to spend two minutes here and then we are going to jump on to the results. Uh, the first thing that I want my tool to actually evaluate is script compliance. Okay. So under script compliance, I can have a greeting closing and security based scripts that I want my agents to comply with. Okay. While doing that, I thought, why not I add something uh, that I named quick response? What is quick response is, okay, let's take a look at this query. I hover my mouse over here. Okay. And it says silence duration at the beginning of a call should be less than two seconds. So as soon as the call is connected to your agent, you don't want your agent to, you know, spend some time doing some other thing, closing a screen over there, you know, or chatting with their friends. So you want your agent to start speaking with you within the two seconds. Now, the tool is going to actually go through every single call of the agents that I pick. And then, you know, the percentage of the calls will define how many points my agent will get. You know, the minimum will be zero, the maximum will be 15 from this question only, okay? The greeting customer is something I'm looking my for my agent saying good morning or good afternoon or hello or good evening, you know, in the first 10 seconds of the conversation. So as you can see, my queries can be quite complicated. Now I'm adding some uh, phrases and I'm separating them using some logical operators such as and, or, and I'm using the quotation marks, okay? So what the tool is gonna look for, and I set up all of this, by the way, you can change these answers. I said good, acceptable, and bad, and I gave 10, five, and zero points for each one of these brackets. And using these sliders, I said, if the tool finds the greeting customer uh, compliance, script compliance, in or uh, over 70% of the calls, this agent will get 10 points from this question. I think you get the idea. 50 to 69% will get five points and anything less than 50%, so half of the calls, the agent is not going to get any points from this uh, question. So we created the greeting, closing, security. Now let's take a look at three acoustic parameters that we used. Okay, the first one is interruption. As I said, Sestec extracts acoustic information, conversational information from the calls. What we are looking for is agents interrupting the customers while they're speaking. Okay, if the agent interrupts more than three times, okay, that 200 number is just the upper limit that we uh, put there, okay? But if the agents are interrupting more than three times, you know, then they are not going to get too many points, right? So we are looking for the tool to interrupt them only in the 20% of the calls, okay? Then they're going to get five points. If they're interrupting the customer more than three times in more than 20% of the calls, agents not going to get any points. It may seem harsh, but these numbers are actually used by the industry, okay? Monotonicity, similar. Uh, I don't want my agents to be monotonicitic, okay? Uh, and I want them to be lively. So the tool is going to calculate the average monotonicity level of an agent. And if it is less than 45, the agent is going to get 10 points. Now, your form is almost ready, okay? You are ready to go and tell the tool to to evaluate your agents. There is one more thing, one more component, which Anna, is we have a question. Actually, let me interrupt you very quickly. Sure. Uh, sure. There's a question: Can we select a date range without selecting a period? Very uh, good. Now I'm coming to that. Actually, okay. That question is very nicely ties my next screen, which is period. Okay. So uh, this question can be answered in two ways. Uh, you can actually select dates by creating a period. Okay. The period will define. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll create a new period with you guys. All right. So the name of the period is uh, nice question. Okay. 
And I can say I want to include calls just in the last one week. Okay, so it's going to start uh, July 17th and end July 24th. And then the rest of the information on the right hand screen, okay, is not used by the automated evaluations because these are used by the manual evaluations. You can set the maximum records that need to be evaluated. And also you can set the maximum total duration of those records. What you can do is you can select which group of agents or actually which agents that you want to include inside your period. All right. So what I did before, if you remember, is my group named consumer products experts. Here are my agents uh, inside this and I can actually select a few of them or I can select all of them. All right. And I can just assign them inside this period. So the tool is going to include them uh, within this time frame. I hope this answers the question. Yes. So the, uh, answer, the question, the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, perfect okay. then. All right, so we created the period here uh, together, but of course, before coming to this demo, we did it for you, all right? My period was from July 13th, this one is mine, okay, till July, July 22nd. And what I can do is I can select the form to be used inside my automated evaluation period, all right? And this form looks familiar because this is the form that we just reviewed, all right? So I created the form, the questions, and I created the period. Now the tool is going to evaluate them. And of course, the beauty of a webinar is that we don't need to wait for this. It is already evaluated. This is the one that we are gonna see. As you can see, these are the other ones that we created in the demo system. But let's take a look at the results very quickly. So this is a high level results screen. In total, there were five agents and the evaluation progress 0% is for the manual one, 100% is for the automated one. So within this time period, there were no manual done. And this actually gives you a clue that you can also do manual evaluation uh, combined with the automated one, and then you can actually merge them and see, okay, did I do a good job? Did the machine do a good job? Then you can actually compare these together, which we did with a customer uh, just only last week. And what we found out is the humans evaluating missed some of the parts where the agent was actually saying something good, you know, so they deducted the points. The automated tool did not do that. And it was uh, actually uh, accurate, more accurate than the manual evaluation. But anyway. Yes, so there was a question actually on all about that, the accuracy <laughs> level. So uh, we have <laughs> proof that when you compare uh, manual uh, score scoring with the uh, automated scoring because of uh, it's a machine doing it uh, there is less chance to miss details and uh, so that we can we can be sure about the accuracy of this model yeah so just i'm gonna spend 30 seconds on that baran uh the thing is okay the machine doesn't make errors is not a, a you know a right statement maybe but of course there can be errors but when it comes to a rule-based engine there is no room for an error inside the inside the machine you know uh doing the evaluation what is going to affect is speech to text accuracy here because once you convert all of the calls into text, you know, and if there are some text that is mistranscribed uh, by the tool, then you may lose some insight there. Some you, know, you can uh, do some uh, errors. The machine can mm -hmm. do some errors. But here, Sestec has a track record to achieve very high speech-to-text accuracies. So I'm talking about over 90% accuracies. So uh, if you have a few hundred thousand calls inside your contact center, all of them converted into text in a higher than 90% level is very, very you know, effective when you do automated evaluations. Yeah, okay. Understood. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. So where we left is they've bought evaluated all five agents. The average point was 65. All right. It was a little low. Uh, the, uh, the, the form that I created is harsh. All right. I accept this. And here are the five agents and their respective scores. All right. 60, 67, 68, 64, 66, the uh, average becoming 65 points. Now, this was the high level. Let's take a look at a little bit deeper. You'll see how those automated scores actually are calculated. This is my evaluation results screen, and I'm gonna pick my period here. 
and actually I'm just going to say list because this is all I want to see. All right, these are the different points for my different agents. And let's take a look at one of them. All right. So Rose Bluebell is the agent. And within this time period, all right, she received 81 calls. And the quick response question that we created, which was answering the phone and saying something to the customer in less than two seconds, she got 14 points because in 74 calls that she received, she was adhering to this rule. And only seven of them, she missed uh, saying something to the customer in the short time period. All right. So that's so why she two... got the highest score. Yeah. Exactly. She got 14 scores here. Greeting customer, I think you get the pattern here. 81 calls is the total number of calls that this lady got in that week. And 70 calls is the matched number of calls. All right. So my uh, sliders inside the form were designed to give, you know, the full points if it were, you know, uh, about, I think, 70% or something like that. And it seems like 70 out of 81 is a good score. Now, offering help is something that she didn't do well. So there's room for improvement. And then, uh, you know, we can take a look at the other questions one by one. But just to save time, I'm going down to the acoustic parameters. Now, avoiding avoid interrupting customers section all right and the monotonicity levels now what we are looking for here is all right this lady's monotonicity level out of that 81 calls is a little high all right she got 65 on average which is not very lively okay so she lost all of that 10 points from this call that's why you know uh, she got this you know overall 67 points now what i can do is I can just uh, comment, all right, to this evaluation. And I can put some attention to the points where she lost the points, all right? So the, the monotonicity is one of them, all right? And uh, offering help is another one. So okay? the agents so, can see what the supervisors are commenting, all right? Exactly, exactly, which I'm going to show in the next one, all right? We so, have a question again. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. How do we get to, can we uh, get to call details somehow? Is just yep. see a sample call? Uh, yes, you can actually. So let me show you from the evaluator, not from the evaluator screen, but from the agent's perspective, okay? Now, all of a sudden, forget uh, I am Anil, I'm Miranda. All right. So as Miranda, I can log into the same system. I'm an agent in this, uh, you know, system, and I can actually see much less things than an administrator or a supervisor of the system. Uh, I want to see the evaluation results of myself. Okay. So in this period, I got 67 points. Now, how did I do that? I'm just going to click on this magnifying glass, and okay, these are my scores. So this is the one that I'm interested in. So 45. So I can click on this small hyperlink. And what's going to do is it's going to bring me the calls that do not have, you know, the words or the phrases that I should have used, you know. And those uh, are, you know, how may I, uh, is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, or do you have another question? You know, those are the things that I did not say. So these are the calls that uh, are missing, you know. So... Actually, I made a mistake, but I'm, I'm just taking it back. I clicked on the 45. 45 is the match call. So these are the ones that I actually said those it's things. Good, yeah. this, yes, 47 is the ones that I did not. Okay, so I click on it, and it's going to bring me a different set of calls. Now, what I can do is I can actually uh, listen to my own calls. Okay, I click on a call. These are all my calls. I'm Miranda. Okay, so you can see the words that I said, and you can actually take a look at the full transcription of the call, all right? Mm -hmm. And nowhere here I said, uh, is there anything else I can help you with, you know? Mm -hmm. And you can actually uh, search it here and you can listen to the call if you want to. Mm -hmm. It's a three minute mm -hmm. call, so I'm not gonna do that, but you know, uh, this is why I lost points. So you can go one by one. So this is more of a self-coaching. Self -coaching, because yes. Yeah. I, as Miranda, I received an email as soon as the tool completed the evaluations, right? And uh, then I can go into the system and I can actually uh, give myself some time 
to to listen to my own calls and actually maybe next day i'm gonna be uh you know more interactive with the customer you know uh, not monotonistic anymore and also i can you know ask for further help okay so so there's another question can we get a general report on this uh, agent performance not individually questions but uh, a general out outcome general of the out, yes we can actually so we do have uh, some reports that are already embedded inside the tool okay so let me show you a few of them this is the, the period that we were interested in this is the form that we do have the third version is the one that we publish so i select all of them okay so uh, in total there were 360 calls that were actually evaluated by the tool average call duration is almost 200 seconds okay then i can see per question and per agent the different scores and how they are actually uh, doing uh, in comparison with the other agent groups now in this demo system baran we only uh, evaluated uh, one group of agents okay mm -hmm. so this is the that group and this was the general response all right but in this demo system we don't have any other group so these numbers are always matching if we had a group b you know then you would see how this group of agent is doing and comparing against the other group so well, when we when we have a, a, a agent group that is performing the best at my yeah. call center now i can compare my best performance with not so best performance group and then i exactly. can pinpoint the differences so i can show them i can coach them as a supervisor so if you do this you're going to perform better so i can really guide them as a supervisor yeah a absolutely and uh, baran i know this is not a topic for today's call but we do have a statistical comparison tool under speech analytics which is actually a synonym for root cause analysis in that screen you can uh, load those two agent groups side by side and you can ask the tool to, to bring you the root cause of the success of one group and not so successful of another group. And you can see, okay, now uh, you understand why one group of agents is more successful than the other. So, so the, I suggest tool, we... the tool itself brings me the, 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 the root cause of the, the, root the cause, success. Exactly. Mm, yes, yeah, okay. one of the very vital features of speech analytics is this one, you know, root okay. cause analysis. What about the, the, the self-coaching? Can we spend, uh, so actually, uh, yeah. we, we, we so set this the... uh, live demo for 30 minutes, but I think this is really interesting and uh, 20 people are still active. So we can go uh, go a lot, uh, five minutes more maybe. But sure, self-coaching, sure. we got some uh, questions about self-coaching. Okay, sure. So as Miranda, you remember this screen. So it's one of the self-coaching options is that I can go through the evaluation results. I can listen to the calls that I'm not doing well. So this is one of the, uh, you know, uh, options that I do have. Other option is that I can set up some rule inside my system to send sample few calls every day you know, to the agents saying that these calls are the ones that you need to pay attention and these calls are the ones that you did really good. You know, what? how I can so do I that? I email is, my agents automatically, yeah? Automatically, yes. I can mm -hmm. actually create some uh, automatic email reports, you know, they are called scheduled reports. And I, what I can say is, you know, uh, send some calls, sample calls, I can set the number of calls in my tool, okay, maybe five calls from this query. And you remember queries, you can set up them as, you know, things that you should say or things that you shouldn't say, or, you know, in a conversation, how many interruptions are you making? How many, you know, uh, how much silence are you giving inside the call? All of this uh, can be sampled. Arnold, there is, a, I think, emails. about your yeah. voice. Uh... Can Sorry. Check? I can hear it actually, but uh, one of our in a, mm -hmm. one of our uh, attendees cannot hear your voice. Okay. Can you? I hope. Yeah, I'm checking my microphone. But it just happened right now. Can you uh, refresh? Okay. All right. So, Baran, can you hear me? I can hear way? you actually. Yeah, I can okay, hear you. Okay. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do is just give me one second. I'm gonna go back to the live stream and. Unmute myself. Maybe this helped. Maybe it didn't. But can you hear me now better? Uh, yeah, we can hear you. Can you share it again, your screen? Uh, sure. I'm going to do that very quickly. All right. So let me open my evaluation results and then share my screen. All right. 
for okay. our attendees who cannot hear maybe can you log out and come back in we'll be here for another five minutes mm -hmm. so uh, yeah let's continue okay sure so uh, what we said is two ways for self-coaching baran one is going through the evaluation results the other one is automated email reports you know sampling calls from good examples and bad examples mm -hmm. inside the inside the system yeah any other questions great questions by the way thank you so much crowd so yeah about this coaching we, we've gone through the self-coaching if you want to touch a little bit um, about reporting or i don't know yeah uh yeah i can do that actually we do have you know uh different features here that we didn't mention in today's call we do have a dashboard just like you've seen here this this is the real dashboard that we have for speech analytics okay there is the total call count inside this time frame for this group of agents okay you can see the non-fcr rate which is 17 percent meaning first call resolution is a very important metric right so 17 percent is non-fcr meaning that 17 percent of your customer base is calling you repeatedly for the same problem okay and they're calling in a short time frame so you need to lower this number the speech occupancy rate is 70 percent meaning 30 percent of the entire calls are silenced so your agent needs to be more interactive filling those void silence durations inside the calls okay so average Anna, call this is uh, yesterday's performance i see here or uh, the one that you're seeing is actually over a week you know from july 16 mm -hmm. to july 23rd you know you can select uh, any other number you know let's actually how, how quickly could the, 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 does it update actually it's up it's updating instantly as you can see from 400 ah, okay. it, okay. it dropped to 120. Oh, i see the performance seven. live yes, of yes, my call yeah, yeah you can change the uh the duration that you want to actually see right mm -hmm. so this is one of them and then the another thing that i want to uh mention is about manual evaluations you can have manual evaluations and you can do calibration on those manual evaluations what that means is some evaluators may be very harsh towards some agents or they are very good buddies and they are always promoting the agents right mm -hmm. so yeah. all of we all seen these kind of behavior in the past now what we do have is an evaluation of evaluators you know so if the system thinks that an evaluator is always cutting points or giving high points to a certain agents then you will be able to actually spot those evaluators in the next phase of speech analytics you know this is 10.5 in 10.6 this new feature will be available for you so that you can have a more objective evaluation uh, phase i hope this makes sense so it's two ways yeah supervisors are uh, evaluating agent but at the same time somebody has to evaluate the supervisor yeah? <laughs> correct yes those supervisors you know needs to be yeah. sometimes evaluated so this was actually yeah. it baran so uh yeah thank, you, so thank you i think yeah we covered a lot of ground today thank you for this uh, presentation and i think we've gone to a lot of details about the questions we're gonna wrap it up very quickly we sure. got we actually extended our time about eight minutes what we got let's answer one more question about uh, the the gdpr uh, you mm -hmm. talked about GDPR uh, compliance. Can you uh, just a couple of minutes spend on that? Sure. I mean, in the How data do do protection it? law, uh, you don't actually need to store sensitive information of the customer. And actually, starting point is not asking those questions, but agents sometimes may be asking those questions, or maybe the customers may say those uh, information without any you know, question. So using this tool, you can create a query where these kind of words or phrases can be said either by the customer or by the agent and you can uh, uncover those calls so that you can coach the agent you know whenever they hear mm -hmm. these kind of information they Sense can actually the, yeah stop the customer right because we do have automated tools in the background which are masking these sensitive information because sometimes they are necessary but in an unnecessary environment you know where you don't need that information 
you, you, your agent needs to be aware that this information mm -hmm. is sensitive and shouldn't be asked or the customer shouldn't say it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. well put, well put. Yes, so thank you everyone. I think this was a very lively, we, we see 20, 25 people actively listening to us. Thank you very much. If you have other questions, you can always email us at uh, marketing at sestec.com and we'll be happy to answer all of them. So thank you, Anil, again uh, for this thank session. You, and yeah, thank see you, you guys for joining. See you guys next time on our next webinar. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye.